Hi there, Patricia. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Good evening, how are you today? It's nice music, though. I mean, yes, it's a romantic music. <laughs> Very nice. That help that help us to, to listen English. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Did you listen yeah. to 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 the songs I sent you? Uh, sometimes then what? Did you listen to the songs I sent you? Ah uh, ah uh, yeah. See yes, I listened. Okay, perfect. It's very yes. fast. It's Did very you... fast. Was very fast? Really? The 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 music, the song. Really? Uh -huh. I thought it was fast. I thought it was it was uh, like nice rhythm. Probably. No. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Oops, my camera, my camera. Okay, hi Azucena. Hi, Gracina. Hi, teacher. Hi, Mayra. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. Good and you? Very good. Very good. Good evening, Mayra, everyone. Nice to see you all today. I already saw the, the video that, they sh that you share on WhatsApp. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I was <laughs> laughing a lot <laughs> because I wasn't scared about the, the music. No, about the story. <laughs> yeah, because well, the, the, the music was very scary. Know, <laughs> scary. Uh -huh. Very spooky. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I liked it. When you listen to like original pieces of English, like that story or like a song, or if you watch, uh, I don't know, series on Netflix that are fully in English, you listen mm -hmm. to some phrases or you listen to ways of saying things that you don't usually see on a book, right? Because the grammar is perfect. We need to know the grammar is like for us, it's, it's very important, but you also need to get those catchy phrases, right? Like something interesting, just, ah, that's how you say it in English, right? <laughs> so we have, that's why I like to, to watch two stories, or to listen to music. The and song I include, uh -huh. um, sorry. Uh, they include um, a lot of idioms. Exactly. Exactly. They include idioms that we think that they are not useful, but they mm -hmm. do, right? They are actually useful for us. Right? We need them. We need them to be there. Very good. Let me go ahead. I'm going to start here and we're going to work with our class. Now, yesterday we worked with uh, past progressive, simple past. How do you feel about that video too? I sent you that video. Was it easy to understand or was it difficult? I only have a doubt. A doubt. doubt? A doubt? Uh huh. Uh huh. And because I was uh, resolving the section four, uh -huh. and I made the the exercise, but um, I made some mistakes because I I thought that um, I had to use simple present, uh -huh. but I was wrong. And my doubt is about um, um, now I, I'm clear that uh, we use uh, first simple past, uh, sorry, 
uh, past continuous, uh -huh. and, and then an action in interrupt, and we use um, uh, simple, simple pass. Simple, simple pass, but uh, that happened um, instead of instead of because the um, the the correct answer uh, was first. Uh, the, the the simple past and at the end yeah. uh, pa, pa, past, past continuous and so i i feel um confused. just a little confused uh, okay. about this uh -huh. do you do you do you remember uh when we used to be kids at school they told us this this uh rule in mathematics in mathematics, we were like in seventh grade or eighth grade, they told us this in Spanish. El orden de los factores no altera el producto. Do you yes, remember I that? Remember that. <laughs> yes. Okay. So that is my explanation. <laughs> the same. That is the same. my explanation. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So okay. it will depend pretty much on the on the uh connector word that you use, right? If you use while, if you use when, right? That is actually important. It needs to make sense, right? If I it's say- It's not necessary to uh, use the, the word while or, or where because I read the, the examples and they don't use- No, you, I mean, when, while, while, when, mm -hmm. while, as soon as, right? Those are important. For example, I can say, as soon as I started my work, my boyfriend called me. <gasps> That's simple pass and simple pass, mm -hmm. right? But I can also say, when when my mom when my mom knocked at the door, I was taking a shower, so I couldn't ask. That happens to me all the time. My my dad comes to my house, he knocks at the door, and I'm always taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, uh, something that's a real example so you can say when my dad knocked at the door i was taking a shower i'm using simple past the beginning and past progressive but i can say also i was taking a shower when, when my, my dad, dad knocked at the door right so that's my explanation like it's the same as mathematics right the same as okay. math el orden de los factores <laughs> La mayoría de veces en lingüística no altera los productos, right? Okay. <laughs> you don't have to. Very much. You're welcome. It's you easy explanation, right? We don't have to get that. Okay. <laughs> very good. Now, how was how was the exercise? Did you complete the exercise? <gasps> no. Yes. Yes, teacher. Me teacher. Yes. 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 Okay. Let me go ahead and see your answers because. I'm actually very excited to see your answers. Let me get access to. Uy, alguien soñó este día. Qué locura. Okay, can you see the exercise? No, oh, yes. No? Yes, okay, very well. Now, we're going to check the answers for this <laughs> exercise, right? Remember, the more we practice, the better we answer. So, we're going to get here, right? The first one we said yesterday, right? That the first answer was, uh, she was working at Del Rey and she had a flat by the river, right? Let's see, she was working, right? And she had, because I made a mistake, so you already put the answer. <laughs> so let's see here, right? What about number three, Gracina? Okay, um, we met at a cafe where we were eating at a temporary table. We met at a cafe where we were sitting, we were sitting at different tables, very, at separate mm -hmm. tables. Very well then. Now, number four, Archimedes. Okay, 
Arky, Arky, I will tell you, no, I'm kidding, Mr. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, 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 uh, I was. Uh, it was a beautiful spring day, and the sun uh, was where it's shining. I don't, I don't know. And the sun was was shining. Shining. Uh -huh. Was shining. Shining. Okay. Shining. Remember. Past progressive, right? Mm -hmm. And the sun was shining. Good. Now let's go with number five, Cody. Okay. Uh, I went to, to the toilet when I was bumping into her table and is, is spilling her coffee. Spilling is it right? Spilling, Spilling. Her coffee. Okay, read the sentence one more time. Read it, read it I, out loud. Look at the I, sentence and read it out loud. I went to the toilet when I was bumping into the into her table and spilling her coffee. Does it make sense to you? <laughs> Let me see, please. I uh, no, I think it's I was going to the toilet. Exactly. There you when are. I bumped into her table and spelled her coffee. Yes, that's right, Miss. Sorry. Right? <laughs> you were going right, and during that event, two things happened. Yes, right? yes. First, you bumped into her table, right? And then oh, you just spilled the coffee. Right now, a spilled in past it has two ways: a spilled or a spilled. 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 Both are okay. Yes, both are okay. fine. Thank you, Cody. Patricia, okay. go with number six. The number six is: I was apolo apologi apologizing to her, and I bought her another coffee. Okay. I was apologizing to her. Apologizing. And? Um, to her, and I bought her another copy. And bought her another copy. Okay. And bought her another copy. Now, in this case, we have the connector N. Right? We don't have while. We don't have to do it. We say N, which means that the two events are at are, are a similar position, right? So it doesn't mean that one interrupted the other one, but both of them happened at the same time. When two events happen at the same time, you use sim simple pass for both of them. So in I this am. case, yes, you will say, I apologize to her and bought her another copy. Uh, mm -hmm. Because in this case, it's not that we have what simple past and simple past. Exactly, because the two events happened at the same time. Mm. So in that case, we're going to change it here, Miss Patricia. Right. I apologize to her. I apologize. I uh, I apologize to her and I bought her another coffee. Okay, and but you can say and bought her another coffee, right? Because N is my connector. So it's uh -huh. just telling me this event and this event, but not two different ideas. Very good, Patricia. Okay. Excellent Thank job. You. You're welcome. Let's see, teacher, right now I'm driving. I don't know how to drive. I need to learn how to drive. You can give me a ride anytime. Now, let's see here, number seven. Uh, uh, who hasn't participated? Azucena, number seven. <laughs> okay. Uh, while, while I was having my coffee, she came over and sit 
at my table. What's the past tense of sit? Sat. 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 <laughs> sat on my table. That's right. Mm -hmm. And sat on my table. Very well then. She came over and sat at my table. Very good. Now we go ahead in number eight. Uh, I think who wrote here? Oh, Elizabeth. So Elizabeth cannot participate, but uh, let's see Rosa Luz, number eight. But we didn't win. While we were talking, the winter came with our bill. Okay, the waiter. The waiter. Waiter. The waiter. Yes, while we, while we were talking. While. While we were talking, the waiter came waiter with came. our bill. Exactly. The waiter. The winter is like right now. We have winter with rain and all that. Yeah. That's the winter. winter. Okay. Thank you, Rosa. And let's see here. Uh, give me the answer for the last one for number nine. Miss uh, Mayra de Paz. But we, we weren't seeing Him mm -hmm. because we talked so much. Because we talked too much. Okay. Now, thank you, thank you, Miss Mayra. Now we're going to work here and remember when we're talking about past progressive, there are some verbs that are called stated verbs. Do you remember stated verbs? Stated verbs are those verbs that they don't they do not reflect an action. They are related to feelings, to knowledge. For example, like, hate, love, right? Those are verbs, yes, they are, but they are not representing an action. If it doesn't represent an action, then we cannot use it with ing. Therefore, right, we cannot use it in this structure. Right? We cannot say liking, right? We cannot say, uh, for example, um, easing, the verb be, <laughs> right? It doesn't have an ing form. So there are many, many verbs that they don't have a, an ing form. Understand. Understanding, too. exactly. Remembering, right? That's not possible. Remembering. <laughs> that actually, it actually sounds I funny. <laughs> I was remembering you. No, it actually <laughs> sounds funny, right? So in this case, we're going to use the past tense, right? For C, past tense of C is, what's the past we tense of C? So, so. Okay, so what would be the negative? In past? We, we didn't see. We, we didn't, we uh, didn't. We didn't see. We didn't see him because we we were talking so much. Uh, we were we talking were so, much. so much. Very good, right? We didn't see him because we were talking too much, right? So just remember there are many verbs that are stated verbs, right? I think I, I, we can get a list of stated verbs because for this unit, it's important for you to remember. Give me a sec. Stay I'm sending this list to the chat in WhatsApp. Okay. And you can okay. sit there. <laughs> Is that Luis Miguel? <laughs> Who sent this me? Okay. There we are. It's taking a little bit longer than usual because of the internet, but I think you got it, right? Yes. Very good. So we have possession, sense, emotion, mental states, and others, mm -hmm. right? 
Now, of course, within those lists, we have exceptions, right? Of course, but right now that's what we are. Now, do you have a question about this exercise? Anything that you may not understand, anything that you would like to ask, vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, please let me know. No? Uh, just the, the verb bump and the verb is spill. I don't know what's the meaning of them. Bump is, for example, have you ever like uh, wake up in the middle of the night, you wanna go to the bathroom, and you forget that there's something on, on, on your way to the bathroom, right? There's something maybe like a table or like a chair, and then you're okay, just walking okay. and then you poop, you bump into something. Okay, okay. Right? And it's spilled. Right now I have my water right here. And then I start drinking, right? And then I just spilled water on my laptop, by the way. So I have water here. <laughs> right? It's spilled, right? So what happened to that person is that he, I'm, I'm gonna he, move here. He, he was bumped. walking and he bumped on the table. The water was there, so it just water it's came spilled. out of there. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. That's what spill is. Thank you. Now, any questions and any other questions about the, the, this activity? Gracina, I see you that full. Teacher. Mm -hmm. And I have a, a thought about uh, these verbs uh -huh. uh, that you shared with us because uh, you said that uh, uh, some verbs uh, don't use in ing. ING. Exactly. But All this bird? no. Uh huh. Okay, the verse that I sent to you, right? I'm gonna show uh -huh. you here the verse. I think you got it here. I'm gonna open those verse right now. Give me a sec. Okay, these are the verse, right? Mm -hmm. Now, for all of this verse that we have here, right, have mm -hmm. a own, possess, pack, consistent, blah, blah. So okay. there are some of them, right? There are some of them that they are exception to the rule, okay? Mm -hmm. Most of them, you cannot use it. You cannot say needing, loving, liking, mm -hmm. disliking, smelling, no, Wish right? Anything. You're not supposed to do that, right? For example, when you say here, the verb, you can see here the verb have, right? Have, that's possession, right? When it means possession, you cannot put it in ID. You cannot say, oh, um, I am having this perfume. Right, by the way, <laughs> right? You cannot say, I am having this perfume, right? You need to say, I have this perfume. Right? I have. That's possession because it belongs to me. Right? It belongs to me. It's mine. But you're going to use having, for example, Gracina, mm -hmm. uh, when you're talking about a situation, how you're feeling about a situation. Let's imagine, right? We are all at a party. We are, um, you know, eating, eating meat right, chorizos, tortillas, right, and for the ones that are vegetarian, they are eating uh, vegetables, right, right, we're having a great time, we are having a great time, so that is an experience, when you use have to express an experience at that, at that moment of speaking and writing, then you use it with ing, right, the same happens with think, think, what is, oh, mental state, Think, right? Think. think. When you, you when you use think as an opinion, I think, I think, uh, people in El Salvador should be smarter regarding politics, right? Okay. I think that's my opinion. My opinion can be different from anybody else's, right? 
because that's mine. And that's what I'm I'm saying. Oh, I think uh, the US government don't care about the the, the shootings at, at schools, I think. Right. Now I'm giving my opinion. I cannot I cannot say I am thinking that the US government don't care about this, right? I, I cannot say that. But if, if I uh, if I'm actually performing the action, oh, for example, Luis is right now. What is the teacher talking about? Right? <laughs> he is thinking. You are a thinking. thinking. Right? He is thinking. He's like, what is she talking? We already talk about steady person level, <laughs> in level three. Stop talking about that, right? So he's like, mm. Right. Or sometimes you're a warrior. I, I for it's raining and I forgot to put all the clothes inside. They were dry. So now they will be wet again. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're thinking you're making that option. So it would depend. Right. But if you have this steady verse as this possession, sense, emotion, mental states or others, then make sure you don't use ING. Okay. Okay. There you okay, go. Thank you. So it Thank can you. depends also um, to the context. It depends on the context, the use of the verb. Mm, okay. Remember, not all the verbs have the same definition, right? We have. But I can. Uh -huh. sure I can say I was thinking about anything. Yes. Yes. I was thinking about my husband last night. <laughs> right. Okay. Very good. So we have there, right? I'm gonna stop sharing that. Uh, what's up to dangerous? <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and see what we watched the video about past, uh, past continuous and simple past, right? Did you complete the knowledge check or do you have questions about it? No? Okay, so we're no, going to do, we're going to do right now, I need you to work with me, right? And you uh, complete the news broadcast here in the class, okay? We're going to do that, the news broadcast. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Could you please pass that picture to WhatsApp? I already did, Veronica. That's in WhatsApp already. Check WhatsApp. De ahí la estaba viendo. <laughs> Okay, check it out, check it out. Right. Now, let me show you again. Okay, there we are. Okay, we're going to practice some listening skills, right? With the listening skills that we're going to uh, practice, right? I need you to please pay attention because I will ask you questions. Besides the questions that we have here, because here we have six questions. Ah, that's good, right? But I'm gonna ask you more. So please pay attention, right? Let me go ahead and put it right here. Can you see the video, word news? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Now, yes. can you listen to this? Hi, everyone. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes teacher. Perfect. So, pay attention. I'm gonna put myself on mute. I am going to take notes, and I will ask you questions. Okay. Let's start. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll develop skills in listening for details, develop note-taking skills, listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three-and-a-half-meter snake in a town in Thailand. 
It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. We are listening one more time, so don't worry. Please. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Yeah, By the end yeah, of this yeah. class, you'll develop skills in listening for details. Develop note-taking skills. Listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Are you ready for the questions? For yes, sure teacher. not. And yes, teacher. teacher. <laughs> yes. Okay, I like that yes. attitude. Very good. First, we're going to answer the questions from here, so that, that will give us some room to remember. Right. And then I will ask you more questions. So be ready. Now, where did the first story happen? In Thailand. In Thailand. In Thailand. In Thailand. Okay. In, In Thailand. Thailand. What happened on the first story? A man was on a man was by snake. A man was almost strangled to death by a snake. It was a stupid man, by the way. Right, number three. Where did the second story happen? In Australia. Australia. In Australia. Okay. What happened on the second story? Very good. Where did the third story happen? In Hollywood, Hollywood, California. California. Hollywood, California. Okay. What happened on the third story? Two police, police officers, police officers were, were fighting. They, 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 they were chasing. chasing. Okay, let me check. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much for your help. Right? Now, I'm going to ask you, 
more questions, okay? First one is no. easy. <laughs> First one is easy. If you know the answer, raise your hand, right? What kind of animal was in the first story? What kind of animal? A snake. A snake. A snake. Okay, a snake. Very good. How long was the snake? Uh, what, two meters. What's it? Two meters. Two meters. Two meters. No. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, two who meters. remembers? I don't know. Adrian? Two meters, point five. Two meters. Point five. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> Three and a half meters snake. It was, it oh was my actually God. a very long oh. snake. Oh my God. Am I? Three and a half. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Where? Almost a meter. Oh, no. Almost one meter? No. Three and a half meter. Yeah, ah, meter. Three meters. and a half. Yes. Almost four meters. Mm -hmm. I can believe that. <laughs> yes. Where, where did the man put the snake? In the hair. In, what? In, where did the, the man neck? put the snake? On his? Around his? Neck. neck. His neck. Okay. His neck. Around yeah. his neck. Very good. Now, uh, second story. Okay. Okay. How many girls disappear? Two. 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 Two girls. Okay, <laughs> very good. What day did they disappear? Uh, on Sunday. I don't know. Sunday. Okay. Sunday. No, no <laughs> on Sunday was the first story. The first. <laughs> and the second Friday. Oh, yeah. it was on Friday. Oh, Friday. Yes, very oh, good. Friday. Okay. okay. Yeah. Where was the ship heading to? Uh, In the river. In the river? No. Nah. No. <laughs> repeat the question. Repeat the question. Where was the ship heading to? In Singapore. <laughs> In the ship. <laughs> to no. Singapore. It was heading to Singapore. So imagine mm -hmm. you wake up and then you're going to Singapore. Oh my God. That's crazy. I think they were, <laughs> they were being kidnapped. Right? Now, how many days did they walk? Uh, two days. Huh? Two days. Two days. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> they walked for Me several neither. days, right? They were for they walked for several days. It's not in a specific several amount. Several days to the nearest town, yes. <laughs> several days to the nearest town. No. Right. Actually, they first they swam. Right, and then on the shore, and they they walk. Third story. Okay. Listen carefully. Who rescued the officers? The thief. The thief. Okay. Where where did he rescue the officers? Where. In the, river. In, the river. in the river. In the river. Now it's the river, Patricia. Now it's the river. <laughs> Very good. Okay. <laughs> what? What was the? What was the thief stealing? What? What was the thief stealing? I don't know how. No, I know no, what I, I mean. The question. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I remember that car. It was a car. Very Lost good. Control. <laughs> you want to applause yourself. Very good. Right? It was a car. They were chase. It was a car chase. Right? Car chases are very famous in the US. Right? Very good. So we have there. You see, these stories are these questions are very easy. But sometimes, you know, for example, when you're working, when you're working, I'm sorry and you're talking to someone in the US, you have to pay attention to the details. Like she's, ah, they mentioned this, oh, they say that. So you have to pay attention to everything, right? Not just to the obvious, very good. Now, we're gonna go ahead, but you did a great job, by the way. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue working with, you already did the knowledge check here. Now, we're going to work with the past perfect. Oof, past perfect is beautiful. We're going to go ahead and watch the video. Right? Look at the examples. 
and then we are going to make our own examples. But before that, I want to make sure that you, uh, you're clear about the simple past and the past progressive. Do you know how to make the simple past and the past progressive? If not, please, it's your time to ask questions. Or if you want me to explain to you how do they work, I will. But let me know. In God we trust. The we will can. Ya de todo el trabajo a Dios. A Dios rogando con el mazodán. My grandmother, my grandmother says, yo dice ayuda que te ayudaré. <laughs> the important is uh, to pass the, the course. <laughs> no, the important is to speak English. Uh, okay. Yes, of course. Now, tell me, do you have questions about the simple past? Do you know how to make examples with simple past, to speak with past tense and past progressive? How do you Not feel sure. about that? Rosa, it's, it, hmm? it's enough. It's enough. Rosa, Juan, practice every day. Oh, no questions, teacher. No questions. Okay, let's continue. Right? Let's continue. Okay, dun, dun, dun. okay we'll go with the past. Past perfect. We'll go with passive overview, which is one of the topics I love. So let's right, just let me know if you can uh, listen to the video. Hi, everyone. By the end yes, of this class, you. you'll be able to express yes. an event that occurred before another event in the past. For example, I went to a party last weekend, but when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. I'll explain the structure in a little bit, but the most important thing to remember about this topic no. is how and when to use it. Therefore, I would like to spend a few minutes giving lots of examples. So if um, we write the example that I, I gave to you in, uh, just a couple of seconds ago. Um, I, let me write that down. I went to a party last weekend, but uh, when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. Okay, so if we think about that example there, what I'm doing is I'm talking about two events that occur in the past and it's important for me to relate the two because that will uh, emphasize my idea it will outline what I'm trying to express I went to a party last week this is what took place last weekend so that is that X if you will all right but when I got there my friends had eaten all the food and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that in a different color um, my friends had eaten all the food. This is the event in the circle that you see there. This happened before I got to the party. So whenever I say I went to a party last weekend and my friends ate all the food, what that means is that I went to the party and when I got there, there was food at the party and then my friends ate it. But that's not really what I want to express. What I really want to explain is that I went to the party and there was no more food left because something had happened before that and that was the fact that my friends ate the food. So that's why this is really important. You need to know when to use this particular topic. So I'm going to continue to give you more examples. Now let's look at the examples on the chart. As you can see the examples on the chart um, refer to uh, basically it's a uh, it's a person that uh, was at the gym and uh, he forgot to lock his locker and therefore this is what took place right as uh, so we'll analyze the examples that are there I was working out and I have put my stuff in my locker all right wait let, let's stop there for a second I was working out is the past event that's that X if you will what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to relate the second event to that past event and I have put my stuff in my locker so th that I have put my stuff in my locker is the past perfect event that happened before this past event so that's that event there that's the uh, past event okay someone had stolen my wallet so um, I came back but before this event someone had stolen my wallet 
All right. They were able to steal it. That's the past event. So that's that X, if you will, because I had forgotten to lock the locker. All right. Now, that is the past perfect event, as you can see there. Let me just give one last example here. I didn't have any money because I had forgotten my wallet at home. So what I want to explain is that I didn't have any money, but I want to give a reason on why I didn't have any money. So I'm talking about two events from the past. Check the One is that black. I didn't have any money. That's that X that you see there. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, highlight that in a, a, let me go ahead and highlight that in a greenish color. Good second, all right. And um, what about before now? Before this, I want to explain that I had forgot us to. Vamos a hacerlo para atrás. No, todavía no lo ven. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, yes teacher. No, I'm yes. Put it here one minute behind, so we can see it again. Before this past event, so it's that little blue circle that you see there. When I came back, that's that event there. That's the uh, past event. Okay, someone had stolen my wallet. So um, I came back, but before this event someone had stolen my wallet all right they were able to steal it that's the past event so that's that x if you will because i had forgotten to lock the locker all right now that is the past perfect event as you can see there let me just give one last example here i didn't have any money because i had forgotten my wallet at home. So what I want to explain is that I didn't have any money, but I want to give a reason on why I didn't have any money. So I'm talking about two events from the past. One is that I didn't have any money. That's that X that you see there. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, highlight that in a, a, let me go ahead and highlight that in a greenish color. Good second. All right. And, um, before this, I want to explain that I had forgotten my wallet at home. And that's the reason why I didn't have any money, right? So as you can see, both events are, um, are related. Okay, very good. So we just go ahead and watch a past perfect situation with simple past, right? Pretty much what we do, what we have in the past perfect, everything happens in the past. Okay, everything. Now I'm gonna sh I'm gonna tell you two events, right? I'm gonna tell you two events. Uh, well, last month, last month I got a stomachache because I had eaten a lot of food. I eat a party, of course, right? So in that case, right, mm -hmm. what I'm telling you there, right, is that what is the first the thing that I did first last month? I got a stomachache because I had eaten a lot of food at the party. What's the first event? Eating a lot of food mm. of the party. I had eaten a lot of food at the party. That's the first thing that happened, right? And that's the thing that will go in past. Perfect. Something that's something very important that we cannot forget about past perfect is that even though it's in the past, right? We are going to use have all the time for all the subject pronouns. I had, you had, they had, etc. And we're okay. going to have the verb in the yes, past participle form, not in past, the past participle. Yes, form. participle. Uh -huh. And then the other event or the recent event that's still in the past is going to be simple past, right? So do you understand okay. that part right now? Yes. I'm gonna show you yes. some examples. Right, and then you are going to give me your examples. I was okay. looking for some other examples here. Look at this too. Sorry, it says evento a, evento a, right? Sorry. Sometimes EF tells us in Spanish, which I hate, right? We have here one, two, three, four examples. Let's read the first example on the top. Riva Hasusena. Okay. 
Um, John had gone out when I arrived in the office. John had gone out when I arrived in the office. That's right. We can see event one and then event B. One and two, right? We have the first one. Let's go with the next example, Patricia. Okay. I have saved my document before the computer crashed. Very good. So good thing for me, I was able to, to hand in the, the report to my boss, right? Very good. Thank you so much. Now we go there, eh, Gracina, with the next example here, event of a, event B or event one, uh, two and one. Okay, um, when they arrive, we have already started cooking. Started cooking. Started cooking. They started cooking. As you can see here, right, we can have the event number two at the beginning and the event number one at the end, right? And it would still make sense as long as we use the word that will connect our ideas, right? Now we go with the last example here, please, Adrian. Okay. He has a very tired because he hadn't sleep well okay he was very tired because he hadn't slept well like sylvia okay very good like me <laughs> so mm. we can we uh do you understand the examples right now these examples right here yes teacher. yes okay and what about the others the ones with their cameras closed, Silvia, Adriana, Mayra, Veronica, Guti, Rosa, Adrián, Juan Carlos. Do you understand the examples? Ori. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Teacher. Yes. In the in the then please. Let me see. In the three one, when they arrived, the they the event that happened first is when we they had, arrived. No, we had already started cooking. That's number one. Um, always, always the first event is going to be in past perfect. Uh, the first. Uh, mm -hmm. So the first okay. event is in past perfect all the time. Then we have the recent event, right? It will be in simple past. Right. Okay. Good question, Cody. Thank you so much. Right there. Right. Now, I have more examples. I think I'm going to show you here other examples. But just for you to watch them, okay? Here, right? We have the definition of past perfect, of course, right? We can see it here, the definition of the past perfect, right? It represents two words or two activities, two scenarios where occur in the past. The second mm -hmm. or later action follows simple past and the past perfect tense uses have in the past participle form of the past. Right, and yeah. this is the examples that we got. Right, we have a lot of examples here. I have okay. written articles on various topics before he came. He had read different kinds of books before he came. They had played football in that field before it started to rain, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Now, we're going to make our own examples, right? So let's see, what do you have? You have, put there your examples so we can listen to you. We only have four minutes, I hate that. <sighs> Okay. Teacher, I wrote in the platform form. Uh, I had a bad weekend because my sons and I have been sick since one week ago. I, I had a bad weekend because I have been sick. I went to Okay. Now, 
It's not correct. Okay. Right? But I want you to tell me why it's not correct. Look at your example um, and look at what we just saw here on the examples as well. Why are they not correct? First, because my is not my, it's my without A. No, nah, uh, but yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's a spelling. Let's talk about Cody, 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 focus, Cody, focus on the tenses. Don't focus on the spelling because the spelling okay. we always make <laughs> spelling mistakes. Focus okay. on the tenses. I have in the verb have uh, is had, I think. Had been had been sick. Okay, I had a bad weekend because my sons and I have been sick. Have sick. been exactly. Had been. Have uh, been sick. For a yeah. week. Remember, this is very important. If you're it's using past, listen, if you're using for or since, you don't use ego. Because uh, ego is for simple past. Mm -hmm. oh. So for one okay. week, since, for one since week. a mm -hmm. week, right? Or for a month, right? Remember, mm -hmm. we say, for example, in this case, since one week, no. For one week, for one week. Okay. So okay. I I have a bad weekend because my sons and I have been sick for one week. Right? Yes. I went to the supermarket because I had I didn't have all the ingredients for my favorite recipe, but that one is just pass and pass. I didn't have. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Patricia. What about the others? Patricia already gave me her examples. What about the others? Write your examples in the chat. Let's see them. We have two minutes. Let's take care of that. Teacher, the, yes. the, mm -hmm. this sentence, I went to the supermarket because I, I haven't or I didn't. didn't have. We uh, we cannot change this sentence in the in the in the perfect in the past perfect. Why would you? Uh, like the the uh, I mean, like the what? other. No. Because I haven't. No. I didn't have. Right. She didn't have that at that moment. Remember, when you we're using past perfect, it's because a situation happened before the other one. And this mm. I didn't have is not a situation, it's possession. Mm. Yes. Okay. Too simple, pass. We need to see who told you English is easy. Mm -mm, they are wrong. English is a little bit complicated. Right. Okay. If you analyze it, hmm. It's a little bit crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Not crazier than French, but yes. I had a bad weekend because I didn't it didn't stop raining. Okay, that's perfect, Miss Goody. That's perfect, but it's all in past. It doesn't have past perfect. Our purpose right now is to use the past perfect. I had done my report when they started the meeting. Good job, Racina. Just when is with small letters. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Perfect. That's a great example. I had done my report when they started the meeting. So, teacher, here you are the report. <laughs> yes? I'm sorry, but uh, I want to change this sentence to, to Patricia. Don't, if because I, it doesn't I, make sense. Because I had gotten all the ingredients for the. No, Cody. Cody, Cody, Cody. No. It's, it's not that you're going to change it just because you want it. Doesn't make sense in that case. Because I hadn't gotten It's not the situation that happened in the past. The situations that oh. she didn't have. It is position. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. I tried. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's 901, 901, 901. Let's make our examples for tomorrow, okay? Okay. I had a okay. great weekend with my family when we visited the beach. Good job, but I don't see past perfect. I don't see past perfect, just simple past. I yes. had a great weekend. Okay. We visited, Silvia. No past perfect. Okay. <laughs> Look for how, past perfect. How is for past how perfect. past perfect? Uh, how I I have to modificate your sentence is in simple past. Uh -huh. Remember, past perfect. The two situations are in the past, right? But one situation happened before the other one. Right? So situation number one, okay. past perfect. Situation, num situation number two, simple pass, right? Uh, I didn't go to the party because I had broken a leg, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't go to the party because I had spent all my, all my money on new shoes. I didn't have time. I didn't have money to go to the party or for the present. So that's what we're gonna do. How many sentences should I should I make? As many as you can. If I have woken up early this morning, if I had woken up early this morning, what what? That, that's that's a conditional. No voy a poder dormir por ese pedazo de oración. Lo siento. Me voy a dejar sin suspense. That's unconditional. That's not past perfect. Okay, thank you. I have written a letter when my mother called me. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, let's go. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. Okay. Bring good your night. examples. Thank you. Bring good your tomorrow. examples. Thank you. Good night. Cody, bye bring bye. your examples. Bye bye. Bye, <laughs> bye teacher. Okay, bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.